The conveyor belt is driven by three-phase AC motors. How is it possible that this line can start and stop so smoothly? Let's have a look at the control. It's all because of the frequency inverter. Other common terms for this electronic device used in drive technology are VFD, known as Variable Frequency Drive, Adjustable Frequency Drive, or AC Drive Converter. With this device, you can control speed, torque, and direction of an AC motor at the same time. So let's know this device better. This block diagram illustrates a typical three-phase AC variable speed drive system with its main components. First, the incoming AC voltage enters a bridge rectifier which consists here of six diodes. In this stage, the DC voltage has ripples. Therefore, a capacitor and a filter helps to smooth out the ripples. Now, the DC bus system can take its place. The filtered DC bus voltage passes through to a DC three-phase AC converter. The DC AC converter consists of an array of fast acting switches which convert the DC voltage into voltage pulses of square shape, constant magnitude with varying width. The inverter output is not a truth sine wave, but an approximation based on PWM or pulse width modulation. This pulse width modulation scheme works because the motor coils are large inductors which does not allow current to pulse like the voltage. To ensure the efficient operation of the motor, the sine waves produced by each pair of inverted switches are 120 degrees out of phase. The longer the switches are on, the higher the output voltage. This way, you can control the torque of this motor. Regarding the speed of the motor, by increasing the frequency of the output signal, you get a higher number of revolutions. But now you have a problem. The inductive reactance of the motor coils rises by the signal frequency. That means you would get less torque. So what is the solution? To overcome this obstacle, you would adapt the voltage to the frequency when acceleration and deceleration. The parameter called ramp describes the voltage frequency ratio. The other parameter, boost, also known as the torque compensation, is to compensate the torque decrease in low speed because of the stator winding resistance of the electric motor and the starting torque caused by friction. The base or edge frequency is achieved when the voltage supplied to the motor reaches the mains supply voltage. Raising the frequency above the edge frequency leads to magnetic saturation which cannot be compensated anymore. As a result, the torque of the motor decreases. Concerning the technical implication of the inverter, as electronic switches, transistors are used, in this case, IGBTs. In order to avoid a short circuit, their control connections are interlocked. The diode serves as a freewheeling diode, since the motor coil is an inductance.